Hi folks, welcome back to Kid Friendly Video Channel. If you saw our video yesterday, you saw us make Glitter Storm out of Jackson Storm. This was a brand new car. We turned it into a demolition derby car. So now we can go race with uh, all the rest of the uh, cars in the Crazy 8 demolition derbies with Miss Fritter, the school bus of doom. That was lots of fun. I got a lot of comments already from it. People want me to make uh, a Glitter Lightning McQueen, which is probably possible. Actually, this is, um, this is actually... Um, Chester Whippet filter, we homemade that ourselves with a regular Lightning McQueen, we put sand on it. This has really beautiful glitter on it, and I got a lot of good responses, lots of comments, lots of likes, and I really appreciate that folks, thanks very much for commenting. But if this is your first time coming here, you have no idea what we're talking about, we're taking cars from Pixar cars, and we're changing them into something else. We're taking cars like, look at the king here, we turned him into a zebra, and we turned Mater into Zebra Mater, and over here in the background you can see V8 Cafe, and right in front of it is Cruz Ramirez's holler we made from one of our extra Mac hollers. And back here we had Spider-Man McQueen, and there is Next Generation Lightning McQueen. That's another Jackson Storm we converted over. You probably didn't see that in for a while. And over here we have all the cars from the Crazy 8 series during the Demolition Derby. We watched Cars 3 again last night. I couldn't believe all these cars. We made them all, and they all look so cool. Look, look at this here. There is Pushover. Get the jaws on his mouth painted there. These are all demolition derby cars. Broadside, that little pickup truck. That used to be Ivan from Cars 2, believe it or not. I think this tailgate, or fishtail, I'm not sure which one is which. That's actually um, a, a Daryl car trip converted over. And there's Bill. This is a, a leakless. Another car all smashed up. And Jimmy Chang, I saw him last night going out there. That's actually Finn McMissile we used. And Sig Alert, another one of those crazy cars. That's actually Ramon. And oh, folks, there's tons of them here. Look, and all these cars here, what we have, um, these are all fabulous cars. We made them in honor of Fabulous Doc Hudson, the Fabulous Hudson Hornet. And the very first one we saw was Fabulous Lightning McQueen. We made that. But first, the original car we made out of all these was Primer McQueen. I saw him again last night. It was so cool. This is the first car. When I saw that in the movie, I said, I gotta have that car. I gotta make that car. And apparently you can buy it now. So that's what happened after the big crash. Lightning got all fixed up and he ended up after the big accident in Cars 3 getting looking like a Primer and he gave up racing. He was really sad. So I have also purchased the brand new uh, Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Um, die cast car. I didn't want to open it. I'm not going to open it yet because I, I kind of like it in the package. And um, over here we have uh, more of our tributes to Doc Hudson. We have fabulous Chick Hicks, fabulous Jackson Storm, lots of Jackson Storms. Reason folks, fabulous Cruise and Mirrors with silver wheels. I didn't paint them yet. I will eventually. Fabulous Sheriff. Somebody asked me to do that and I did that. Look at that. That came out perfect. Fabulous Luigi and Guido. How could you miss them? They're great. Look at Luigi in his little red hat. Isn't that cool? And over here we have Fabulous Flow. I think that was yesterday, the day before. That's an awesome video in honor of Doc Hudson. Came out perfect. And our most popular video of all, the Fabulous School Bus of Doom. This is a regular die cast Miss Fritter. And don't be dismayed, we have another die cast Miss Fritter still in the package back here, folks. Don't worry. Some people complain that I opened it up and ruined it. And then we have Fabulous Dusty from Planes. A little bit of the wrong color, but that's okay. And back here, a tribute to... Um, his old friend, this is Smokey. Now it's Fabulous Smokey. Just plain old Fabulous Smokey. And Mater, of course Mater gets in on the act. He's Fabulous Mater. Red wheels, black tires, perfect. Now I had a lot of requests for people to make different fabulous things, and I gotta make them all. I gotta make Sarge. Sarge is not done yet. Fabulous Sarge will be done. Fabulous Fillmore, I know I have lots of them around somewhere. And I think that's about it. Fab not gonna do Fabulous Lizzie. I only have one Lizzie. But today, for fun, I'm gonna make Fabulous Thomas. I had a lot of people ask me for Fabulous Thomas. So what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna paint the whole thing primer gray. All this here and all this and this. And his wheels are primer. I'm not gonna paint the back, the bottom of me. I'm not gonna paint his face. And I'm not gonna paint this black spot. I'm gonna leave that as it is. Then I'm gonna come back and paint this here. Beautiful blue and that black. And red in the wheels and black on the tire. It's gonna look just like uh, Doc, <laughs> Doc Cousin, if you believe that. And we're gonna call him Fabulous Thomas on the side, just like uh, Fabulous Lightning McQueen. This is the one of, not, not our first crossover we've done between Thomas and, uh, and Cars. We did lots of them back in the old days. But let me get the gray primer paint out now, folks, and I'll put the, the only coat, the only place you'll ever see Primer Thomas the Train is on kid friendly videos. You ready? Let's get the paint out. Okay, we have regular uh, just um, satin primer dollar store stuff. I mention this all the time because people always ask me what kind of paint to use. I, I get more viewers all the time, folks, so if I repeat myself, it's not for you, it's for the new people. Okay, and here's Thomas. Let's get started to paint Thomas into Primer Thomas. Okay, folks. 
Don't want to get any on the front, that's all. That's going on really nice. I'm really happy with that. I'm covering the whole thing black. I might do that bottom rail in yellow because there's lots of yellow on Doc Hudson. And I'll see if I can get in here too without getting too... I don't want to get any on his face because his face is uh, Thomas. Nothing to do with that. That's who he is. I'm going to do all this stuff because I'm number 51 on the side. Because Thomas does not have a race car number. He has a number of his own, number one. But in honor of Doc Hudson, he's going, I'm going to make this here red. It's going to be really cool. You can do this at home too, folks. If you've got lots of trains, I know if you're watching this video, you probably have a box of trains somewhere and a box of cars. A lot of you guys probably grew out of playing with them outside in the sand or probably just grew out of playing with them all together in the house and they're sitting there. Go get some paint at the dollar store and paint them up. And if you can put them on YouTube, take a picture of it and send me a link and I'll put the picture on my channel. I, don't, I love doing this. And I'm sure you guys like doing it too. It's lots of fun and it's better than, better than sitting back and uh, probably watching video games or playing them or something. This is actually creative and it gives you a whole new new use for your toys. They were sitting in our cupboard like for who knows how long, not doing anything. And I said, wait a second, I can make Primer McQueen. This is how it all started from Primer McQueen. I said, I can make my own Primer McQueen. So I got the paint. I started using spray cans first and I got, you know, if anybody knows what overspray is, it means the dust that comes off the paint when you spray and there's all kinds of paint dust. It's everywhere down here. I did a bunch of them and then I realized it's all over my set too. Some of the cars are full of paint. Like if you look at Pizza Planet delivery truck, he's all full of overspray as well. Now, this will be hard. I'm gonna hold it by the ends and try and do the wheels all at once. Cause I have to put lots of paint on the wheels to make them look that nice color, like red wheels and black tires. And this is the best way to do it. Cover them completely with, with this first primer and then I can really put nice coats of paint on them, maybe a couple of coats of paint at least on this here train to make it perfect. I don't want any, um, I don't want any people to say, hey, it looks terrible. It's going to look as best as I can. Okay, just three more to go. Whoops, a little bit there. And see if I can get these three without making too much of a mess. I got my fingerprints already on the back and the side. See that? I'll have to fix that up before I put it down. The primers are nice. They look great. And I want to say this again. Nowhere on YouTube are you going to see Primer Thomas the Train. And probably nowhere should you actually. Who knows? But this has uh, been so much fun. And like I said, I think I did I did before Thomas as Lightning McQueen. I got a, a video. I mean, I got a video up there making Thomas as Lightning. So I might have made this before as a primer version and then painted it red. I'll show you that near the end of the video. And um, I also made another car train, I mean, it looked like Mater. This is when I first started doing so. I got so many comments and requests from people. Darren Leadfoot, I printed him off this morning. I don't know who that is, but I printed it off for a guy. He wants you to make Darren Leadfoot out of Miguel Camino. And I'm going to do that. Um, don't know when, but I got a, such a list of uh, people sending me ideas. It's amazing. And I love doing it. Uh, just a matter of getting the time to do it. I have to buy new lighting. This here lighting is really bad. And it's in my way right now, actually. See? Okay, folks, there is Primer Thomas the Train for the second time in history. We'll leave that dry and come back and put the first coat of beautiful blue on it in honor of Doc Hudson, fabulous Hudson Hornet. Okay, folks, looks like uh, Thomas is pretty dry. I made this little homemade drying booth. It's just a lamp on top of a couple of bottles of Play-Doh to make sure the paint dries faster. Let's take it out and have a look. Yeah, primer light and, I mean, primer Thomas is definitely dry. Now let's get my blue paint out. It's right here and I'll put some in. I'm using a lot of, um, making a lot of fabulous vehicles, but that's okay though. Now let's go. I'll try and get this on as neat as I can. I'm gonna do the whole thing in blue first and then I'll finish. Actually, I might leave the top gray for now. The side definitely gonna be blue and the back will be blue and the top I might leave and make it red. And this thing here, I'm definitely making it yellow, that little filler tube on top. But I might put two coats on, folks, because it's going on nice, but I'd like to make sure it's going on perfect. The extra coat makes it look so much richer. So much deeper blue. And I also put some red paint out, because I'm going to do the wheels, all six wheels right now. The first coat, and I have to put two coats of red on there, too. Just to make sure it's completely covered. Wow, it's going on nice, folks. Really nice. Definitely take a second coat though. 
Looks like long. Doesn't it long to dry in that homemade heat lamp? I mean, the drying booth, I call it. It's just a, a lamp, like I said, over the, <laughs> over the car or the train, in this case. Sitting on some cans of Play-Doh. Lots of stuff down here to to find to hold it up, that's for sure. It's a toy house down there. Okay, and uh, let's see, an inner line here. I'm not gonna mess, oh, I got some on his chin already, look. Oh, what a pain. Okay, no problem. I'll probably fix that later. Okay. Or maybe I'll paint that gray so you can't see it. It's the same color as the primer, I think. And I'll fix the black. I got some gray and black there. I'm gonna leave that part there free, and maybe I can get that not touched too. I'm gonna cover that in yellow. Or red, depending on how I feel at the time. Okay, now let's get another brush and do all. Oh, no, a little bit down here I missed. Okay, that side done. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I missed my ball right there. Look. There, first coat of Doc Hudson Blue on Thomas. That looks really nice. Now I've got another brush here already for the wheels. I'm going to hold it by the uh, the ends right now because. I don't want to touch the wheels at all when I'm doing this here. Lots of paint. It's going to dry really nice in the heat. The booth over there. And I may have to put two coats of red too because it might dry a little bit. Oh, my hands right in the way of the camera. Sorry guys, I'm trying to watch the train and watch the paint and not paying attention. Wow, that looks nice. Can't wait to do the black wheels. Okay, turn it over. As long as I don't drop it, that'll be an oopsie. Or a blooper, I guess you call it. Doesn't look like it's dry there in that wheel. No, it wasn't dry. There's still some wet gray there. I guess I didn't leave it long enough, so I think I'll leave it a little bit longer this time, folks, to make sure it's all dry before I mess with this here. I must have put too much on it when I put the primer on there. But the second coat will really finish it off. I'll put an extra coat on that when I come back. It's too much, too much gray there. Heavy up in the red right now. Okay, I made a mess of that one, but we'll fix that up later. Okay, I'm gonna put this down now and let it dry for a long time, and then we'll come back and catch up. Hi, right, folks, we're back, and it looks like everything dried way better this time, so I'm gonna get the blue out and put a second coat of blue all over the whole thing, and do a second coat of red on the wheels, because I kind of screwed that one up before it dried. And what I have back here is an extra Lightning McQueen I found over there. Someone wants me to make a Rusty's Race Center Lightning McQueen. I saw it last night in Cars 3. And it's what it is, it's all red, and it's got Rusty's written across here and Rusty's across there. I might do that someday too. And some of them will make a plain Chick Hicks, a plain, a bunch of plain cars too. So I, I got lots to do. I'm gonna write them now. I gotta, I gotta start writing down the suggestions because there's so many coming in. One guy sends me three or four each time. Uh, shiny Mater, and what Shiny Mater mean? I don't know. And oh yeah, one thing. Somebody sent me a message. There's actually, oh, I got blue paint on this fender, darn it. This should be called Retired. This should be called Retired Lightning McQueen. He's got nothing on him, no sponsors anymore. That's pretty cool. I didn't know if that's actually a car or just somebody had an idea to call it Retired Lightning. So that's pretty cool too. I like that. So I'm going to put another coat of blue, which is coming on really nice now, folks. Really nice. The heat lamp worked really good this time. I left it for a longer time. The wheels are all nice and dry. And I'm painting the top red. I got blue paint all over my finger somehow. And who knows how, eh? It's probably because I'm surrounded by blue paint. Good. And I'm gonna put number 51 on the back here and Fabulous Thomas on the sides. White and yellow. White's gonna be Fabulous, yellow's gonna be Thomas and it's gonna line up right next to the rest of them. It's gonna be cool. This was a great idea. I'm glad someone suggested it. Um, more, than one, well, more than one person actually suggested it. So it was several people said, do Fabulous Thomas. And I like doing the crossovers because it expands what we can do with our with our painting channel. We're doing a kid-friendly video channel and painting the toy trains is pretty cool. Okay, that's the second coat all over. Wait, I missed a spot right here. Thomas. Okay, pretty nice. I'll touch up the black later. And that's nice. Okay, and now I'm going to get the red brush again and do all six wheels red again to make sure they're nice and red because the first coat was kind of like washed out with the gray. Especially one of them, it was kind of a, not quite dry. It's easy to cover with the black when I get the tires done. This is kind of weird because trains don't have tires. Obviously they have steel wheels that go right on the rails. 
But for this video, we're gonna have to my thumb in the paint again. I have to touch up. Oh, darn it! I put the red and the blue. Did anybody see that? <laughs> yeah. There's no cleaning that right now. I gotta get this done. It's taking forever to finish the six wheels. And I'm gonna do the top two in red. Hmm, I'm gonna turn this around. There we go. I don't wanna drop it. This won't take too long now. I'll put two coats on the red part. I might do that filler tube in yellow. Oh, that's way better, guys. Look, nice and deep red. The black will go on pretty easy once this dries. Okay, it looks good. There, that looks great. The six now it's not great looking, obviously, but once I put the blue on, I'm gonna do this here red right now with one coat. I'll come back later with the second coat on. Beautiful. Because I got some blue on the sides there. There, I'm gonna leave that dry and come back and then start putting the um, black on the tires and fix up the black there and under his chin I'll put some gray. Clean it up and then I'll paint that bright yellow. Okay, I put some black out for the wheels and I'm gonna put a second coat of red on top of that right now. So that looks finished. The blue is beautiful, it came perfect. I'm gonna cover this nice and red, maybe even three coats to get that nice and rich. I actually put a bit of three coats on it. And I'm gonna do the tire, the wheels right now black. Once I get that done here. And I'm gonna put the yellow cap is right there. And then I'll be able to write the fabulous Thomas on the side and number 51. Wow, that came nice. And now I'm gonna do the tires. Um, here's my black my brush for the tires. I'm gonna hopefully be able to spin the tires, the wheels I mean, and paint them in a circle like I did with the cars. So it looks nicer, just like that. Perfect. That's one, now I have five more to go to be perfect. How's that sound? That's assuming I don't get it on my fingers or the blue on the other side of the train. How's that sound? Beautiful. Three beautiful tires and wheels. Okay, I'm gonna hold it, hold it by the magnets right here. And spin it around and see if I can do these three just as easy. And I put my finger on top of the roof of the train already. Okay, it's four. And I got some black paint on the side there. See it? Speck. Five. One more black wheel. I'm gonna leave this dry, folks, because this is too precarious for me. I'm all fingers here. Six wheels, all black, and me with a paintbrush with black paint on it. Not a good combination. Wow, that came really nice. And I'm gonna actually grab the red again and put another bit of red paint on this here, see if I can get that nice. I'm gonna even put four coats on this to get that nice and red. And when I come back, I'll put the yellow thing here and put number 51 in the back. Okay, so that's dry. Okay, folks, the wheels came perfect in the, in the, uh, the tires, I guess you call them. And I took the, um, I scraped off some paint that was on his face. Now I'm going to get the yellow, and I'm going to put at least three coats of yellow on this thing here to get it perfectly bright and yellow. And I'm going to write number 51 on the back and on the sides in honor of Doc Hudson. Okay, and uh, I may have to touch up some blue again because I see I got some yellow on the blue on the top of the train there. No problem. And I'm gonna write Fabulous Thomas eventually on the sides. Yeah, I'm gonna put two coats on this here. Okay, and now I'm gonna get a smaller brush and write number 51 on the back. Because you have to know which way, which number he is, in honor of Doc Hudson. Lots of paint. And I'm pretty good at making the big numbers. It's when it gets small. Integrate writing like fabulous on the side of the train 51 perfect and I'm gonna put it right here too no windows in Thomas anymore notice that they're all gone they're covered up 51 okay and the other side oh I got some red paint came off of something stuck to me there okay One. Perfect. And now um, I'm going to touch this up again up here. I missed a spot in the back. When that dries, I'll put another coat on it. That looks really nice. And I should put 51 on top of the red. What do you think? 
51 in there too in the red. Yeah, but the heck, it's for the for the cameras to see from above. Because on Doc Hudson's car, 51 is on the roof too. Perfect. Now I need a small little brush to write fabulous on the side and white. Where's my white paint? There you go. And I'm gonna write fabulous in tiny little letters, like I always try to do without screwing up. Okay, fabulous on that side. Oh, I'm gonna mess with you here. Okay, turn the other side. That was close. Fabulous. Now Thomas in yellow. This paintbrush is pretty good, actually. All right, fabulous Thomas. There, now the other side. I think I'll try another brush, folks. Let's do it. Here's one here, it looks pretty tiny. Okay, that's the one I should have used all along. All right, let's clean up here, folks. I think that's about it. it. Looks pretty good. Let's clean up and see how it looks around the rest of the cars. Well, there it is, guys. I have to admit, Fabulous Thomas. I say this every time. Fabulous Thomas came out better than I expected. And look how he looks compared to to Fabulous Hudson Hornet. That was a great idea, guys, to do Fabulous Thomas the Train. And um, we have lots of ideas. I just actually fixed up this here card a little while ago. I got blue on him. I had to put some more red paint on to fix it up. And um, keep your comments and suggestions coming. I'm going to start writing them all down because i got so many coming in. I can't keep up. And it's going to be a long January making videos. So I have to make as many as I can. And it's a lot of work, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, there's our first crossover, Fabulous Thomas. And I have to do, like I said, I have to do Fabulous Serge, Fabulous Fillmore, Fabulous Sally, and the whole town of Radiator Springs in honor of Doc Hudson. And it's all because of this car, the Primer McQueen. I saw again last night in the Cars 3. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you liked the video of making Fabulous Thomas from the Thomas and Train set. Have a great day.